Hello and welcome to Travel Sky's online tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to read out details on a specific flight and also how to pull up the passenger's name list. So first, let's begin with reading out the details on the flight using the RO colon flight number slash date. The output is this detailed information. This is the header, this is considered the leg, and this is the segment. In the header, we have the flight number, flight date, origin and receiving destination, number of days until the flight, aircraft type, class, and control office code. In the leg, we have the class, the leg code, the leg status, available seats, which is 235, maximum seats, 235, Airline capacity, 2035, book seats, group table number, group seats open, group seats booked, block seats, limit sales table number, available seats until LS, PCS table number, AVS table number, configuration table number, and status message table, also the indicator here. Under the segment portion, we have the segment, the class, book seat, group seat, block seat, waitlisted seat, original seat for LS, available seat until LS, limit sales table number, status message table, and indicators. As you can see, we have no booking for this flight. Let's go ahead and see how we check the passenger's name list. We do MLC slash flight number slash date. This pulls up the complete passenger name list. For this flight, we have no passengers. But let's say we wanted to pull up the group passengers on this flight. We would do ML colon G slash flight number and date. Or, alternatively, if we wanted to arrange it according to boarding number, we use B or F1 for frequent flyer. So that is how we do those functions. Stay tuned for more instructions on ICS functions. 